Hello, this is Sean from Ethos English. In today's tutorial, I'm going to explain how to quickly generate comprehension questions from a YouTube video. Here, we've got in front of us a TED Talk on YouTube by a guy by the name of James Geary on how we use metaphors to think. Fantastic TED Talk, highly recommend it. I'm going to include the link in case you want to use it with your students. Great for C1 and C2 English students. So I want to generate some comprehension questions on questions on this video so I click here on the button next to the share button the three dots show transcript Then all you have to do is highlight the text and scroll down you highlight it all and then copy and then you open a session chat GPT which I've already done and here you paste okay you paste the text and before you put the text you need to put in a prompt I've just used a very simple prompt and I'm quite content with the results write five comprehension questions and provide the answers. And this is what ChatGPT 3.5, the free version, these are some of the questions uh, that were generated. Firstly, how does metaphor impact our understanding of abstract concepts? Based on the video that I've already watched, this is a good question. Uh, secondly, what is the Buba Kiki test and why is it significant in understanding metaphors? This has got to do with uh, synesthesia. Interestingly, this is a great question as well. Um, Compare this with the questions generated by ChatGPT4, the premium version. The question is slightly different. What is the Buba Kiki test and what does it demonstrate about our synesthetic abilities? Now, I think it's a good example of how ChatGPT4 won't necessarily ask better questions because we might want to elicit synesthesia from our learners rather than have the concept mentioned in the answer. So here I think the question actually might be, I might prefer the question generated by ChatGPT 3.5. However, the answer, if you look at the answer here, it's much more complete than this one. So I would tend to say that my experience so far is that ChatGPT 4 is superior, unsurprisingly, but that ChatGPT 3.5 is still going to get the job done. The great thing is that you can generate as many questions as you want. You can ask it to generate 10 questions, or you could simply uh, ask for five and then regenerate the response right here just regenerate response and each time you'll get different versions now depending on the length of the video you'll you'll get recurring questions or variations on the same question and that's the other thing you might see a question and not like the way it's worded and then regenerate until you get the way or you add some detail yourself for instance one thing that this uh, that chat gpt systematically missed is that this was a video for my students who are stu stu studying geopolitics and the video specifically refers to how analogies or metaphors are used in diplomacy. And this is not the focus of the video, but that was really relevant for my students. And so every time I generated many questions uh, and that particular part of the video never came up. So I do think that there's a role for the teacher in personalizing the questions because some things for your context, it can't anticipate that your students are particularly interested in geopolitics. So there's still a role for us. We can also tinker, uh, tweak the questions, improve them, but it really is a fantastic tool. So I urge you to try it out and let me know uh, once you've used it in the comments. Uh, add any questions you might have. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.